the toothpaste is out of the tube. It's happening right this minute. Uh, we're touring together. Stranger things have happened. I remember when we started out, we were on the same little old Rinky Dink bus. We had six musicians on the bus. Our, our bass player, Cox. It wasn't even a bus, it was a Winnebago. Was it? Yeah. Well, Cox played the bass and drove the bus. And then. Oh, I'm talking about the very first. And Mike. Back in 1983. Mike was the road manager, collected the money, such as it was, and um, what, did, what did Mike do? <laughs> he just Whatever of, you told him. He tried, yeah, he tried <laughs> to run everything. He was the only person we had, but there were 16 pairs of sneakers, smelly sneakers. There was no plan. I, I never said no because there's a higher power and I'm not it. And it just, there are three reasons I'm doing it and uh, it just made sense for a lot of reasons. So don't have time to go into that, but I'm just telling you when you feel that it's God, it kind of thing. I just knew it was time to answer the call and here we are. And I didn't want to stay home and watch quiz shows anymore. I've now switched to true crime, but it was getting a little wonky. I have no idea. I don't know. I do. I know, I know what I'm going to do. First of all, I love my outfit. I did made it myself. And not this one. You're so gullible. <laughs> Laughter. Honestly, I'm the happiest I've ever been. It's taken me 50 almost eight years to get this chill. It takes a long time.